There's no better time to go after what you truly want than now. Not when, not if, not later, but now. Everything that you want can and will be yours if you stay true to your heart and if you take consistent action towards what it is that you truly want. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in the uncertainty if what we want is truly possible for us. And I truly believe that certainty really comes from that taking action, right? Because the action that you take today is what is going to shape your future. And that's truly powerful, right? You have the power within you to create anything that you want in your life. Yoga, meditation, mindfulness, and self-reflection can provide you with a framework to gain clarity, to take consistent action, to be able to achieve your goals and really achieve anything that you want, all while taking care of the most important asset in your life. And that's you. So today I wanted to share with you a powerful exercise to get you to realign with what it is that you truly want. So this world right now is full of distractions, right? We sometimes set our intentions and our goals at the beginning of the year. And then we find ourselves derailed, distracted, um, you know, not exactly on the path that we had envisioned for ourselves at the beginning of the year. So I think taking moments to pause and reflect are really important to be able to realign with what it is that we truly want, realign with our life's vision, right? What it is that we want to create in our life. So I want to share with you a powerful exercise to do just that. And what's really powerful about pausing to reflect is that you can really evaluate where you are in this moment and where you want to go. You can make your intentions more clear and more specific, and you can also reprioritize. So a lot of times, you know, our priorities change and just really pausing to reflect and really connecting with the heart, right? Because the heart is the one that truly knows what you want. And being able to determine, okay, what is that one most important thing that I want to focus on right now? Or maybe one, or maybe three things max, I would say. Um, and that's why pausing to reflect is really powerful. Because if we don't, we're just going through life and allowing it to take us wherever, right? We're not really being intentional creators of our own lives unless we pause and reflect and we are really aware of what it is that we truly want right coming from the heart and being also aware of where we stand and where we want to go is important so that we can take the action steps that we need to get to where we want to go because the actions that you take today are the ones that are going to shape your future and being able to have that clarity of what it is that you want to create in your life is also important and being able to have very clear and specific intentions, right? Because when we're not very clear and specific on what we want, we kind of just receive that, right? We receive things that seem random or wishy-washy. It's kind of what we want, but not truly. If we're not specific, we just don't have a clear direction on what to take, right? And a lot of times we might not have, you know, a very specific, clear, intention or goal and that's okay but we can start taking action towards what we the intention that we have in this moment and a lot of times clarity comes from action it doesn't come from just like sitting here thinking about it right it comes from taking action so for now i want you to take a moment to pause maybe even close your eyes and maybe place your hands on your heart if that feels comfortable to you or that feels good and with the eyes closed, just take one deep breath. And now just simply ask yourself, what are the three most important things that you want to create in your life right now? And if you'd like, pause this video grab pen and paper, write it down. And if you can't narrow it down to three things, you can make a whole list of the things that you want and then look at your list 
and pick out the top three most important things that you want to create. So go ahead and press pause, put pen to paper, don't skip this. Remember, taking action is what creates your future. So take action now, write down the top three things that you want to create in your life right now. Now take a look at your top three goals or wants. Take a look at them and see how you are or reflect on how are you doing in regards to accomplishing these three top wants or goals in your life. Press pause, pen to paper. Now that you're clear on your top three priorities, the top three things that you want to create in your life, and now that you know exactly where you are in regards to accomplishing them, if you are on track with your goals, congratulations, that's awesome. Um, you deserve a little celebration for your efforts and how far you've come. If your goals are different, then you know, maybe at the beginning of this year or maybe different than what you thought they were, congratulations too, because now you have the clarity on what to focus on, right? And what it is that you truly want to create. And if you have been completely derailed or distracted, if you um, haven't even started with what you want, haven't started taking action, if you feel for any reason unmotivated or stuck or lost, or you find yourself just procrastinating, it's time for loving kindness. There's no need to be hard on ourselves, right? And it's also a good thing because now this pause is allowing you to come up with a plan to move forward. So congratulations too. <laughs> now it's time to commit to your vision. So again, we can do this exercise where we close our eyes and place our hands in our hearts, right? So take a moment, close your eyes. And in your heart, deep breath. And then ask yourself, am I committed to accomplish this goal or to create this want in my life? Am I committed to it full heartedly? And if your answer is yes, great. And I encourage you to really be honest with yourself, right? Because if you have any different priorities, anything that is a little bit more important right now, it's okay to let go of that to focus on what you truly want to create in this moment. And you can always come up back to the other goals whenever you want. I like to focus on like three things maximum, like three big things. And if you can focus on just one, even better because it allows you to not be pulled in all different directions and distracted. Once you commit 100% to your goal, your desire, your want, right? Um, you have the opportunity now to ask yourself, what can I do to make this goal a priority in my life right now? What can I let go of to make room for my goals and my desires, right? And it's time to focus on all everything that you have control over because anything that we don't have control over we have to let go so now go ahead and press pause to this video so you can self-reflect so now that you know what's most important to you in this moment and what it is that you truly want to create in your life right now you know exactly what to focus on and you know exactly what you need to let go of in order to make space to be able to take action, take that consistent action to create what you want. Because really the certainty in achieving what you want or creating what you want comes from taking that consistent action towards your goals, your dreams, your wants, your desires, whatever you wanna call it. So now you're equipped with this powerful practice that allows you to really focus into what's most important and be able to let go what's not to create space and create what you want. With my students, I always like to really dive deeper and really be able to be very clear and specific 
on what it is that those wants and desires are, right? Because we talked before about how important it is to be clear and specific because otherwise we're just attracting random things towards our life instead of creating exactly what it is that we want. And with my students, we also practice how to really be who you want to be right now in this moment, really embodying who you want to be, not when you have X, Y, or Z, but right now in this moment and how to enjoy the journey, enjoy the process of creating what you want in your life and really being able to experience more from life and enjoy more of life. And it's the simple practices like yoga, meditation, mindfulness, and self-reflection that really provide the framework to create what we want in our lives, all while taking care of ourselves, right? And the beauty of it is that it really allows us to enjoy the journey, enjoy our life, and really experience more from our life, really being content and happy with where we are in the moment. Hope you found this mindfulness and journaling exercise helpful. If you want to learn more, go ahead and follow the links below or on my Instagram profile. Thank you for sharing this practice with me from my heart to yours.